We're here at Yorkshire Christ Church on this edition of Water Wednesdays. We're, we're doing a lot of work in the area with a new piece of equipment. It's helping us to speed up the way we do things as far as mainsling is concerned. Darren Taylor, he's the engineer on the job here on this edition of Water Wednesdays. Always good to talk to you, Darian. Talk to us about this new piece of equipment and also you did some training up here with some of the workers. Yes, so as you mentioned, the trencher is a new piece of equipment that we've been trying to obtain for a very long time and we're happy that we now have it in our possession. Um, we got it from a dealer in Florida who came in as well to do the training uh, last week here at Yorkshire um, where they pretty much trained some of our operators in the best use of the machine, you know, proper care and maintenance and you know, the way forward how to proper manage the machine. Um, the trencher itself is practically a big earthworks uh, road cutting chainsaw. Okay. Um, how it operates, it allows to cut the trenches more precise and at a faster rate compared to the traditional backhoe and excavator. Um, and the benefit of that is that one, it allows us to complete a lot more projects per year. And it minimizes the impact to the residents by reducing the amount of time that we're actually in the neighborhoods. You know, um, we have a lot of maze replacement projects that we have to do across the island, and we acknowledge that while the work is necessary and the overall effect would be a better service when it's completed, it is very disruptive work. Um, there's dust, there's uh, the noise, there's the traffic impact, and having the trencher will allow us to get in quickly and get out even quicker. Now, Darian, speaking specifically now about the Yorkshire project, how long will we be in the area? Well, that's a good thing. Um, before, when it was simply excavator, skid steer, uh, backhoe, uh, a project like this would have taken uh, several months, actually, given the distance that we have at Yorkshire. But with the trencher now, we were able to cover several weeks worth of work in just approximately seven days. And wow. I think that is an impressive feat. We don't expect to be here for that much longer. So while you and your team conduct the work here, will there be any inconvenience for residents in the area as far as outages or low pressure is concerned? During the works, uh, because of the nature of it, there should not be any disruption to supply until we are ready to complete the connection from the new main into the existing infrastructure. Um, we do however note that you know, we're in a construction zone, sometimes accidents happen and if we do, we'll try our best to rectify them as quickly as possible. Um, once we're completely works, we'll go through and try to reinstate all of the affected areas as best as it were before we began the works. Okay. And of course, we will keep you updated about these works here in Yorkshire, right here on Water Wednesdays as Darian and his team continue to install the mains along this road. Of course, thank you again for watching another edition of World Wednesdays. To view this or previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. Go to our Facebook or Instagram pages for additional content and information and updates. And please subscribe to our Water Wednesdays channel on YouTube. You can find us there. Is